Now, in this sitting moment, I'm dancing through hallways of the house in my mind, looking for darkness already found inside my own cathedrals. My body is not a temple. It is something much more divine, a breathing organism. Divinity my cells hold amounts more than my own soul. Do they? Where is the line drawn between who will become more god than what is incomparable? But waves reflecting moonlight remind me I've learned enough tonight for moments that do not shine. Beauty is really just pain, re-alphabetized into an etymology of gold over fractures broken into a ghost of the word perfect. And the same could be said for the house inside my brain. I've learned to architecture from dripping dark, seething out my pores. The moon taught us all. She always has been a reminder, radiance, phasing magnificence, just like my every wake and wane and window pain and pain and how anything can become it. Pain, the one thing that will destroy so mercilessly, it will amnesia your restful, make you forget you can phoenix the atom bomb in your heart, because all I can ever do is wait the moment I will run. Three, two, one, and go. As the strings fire, they ice their way in disguise to pass through and Trojan horse the strings woven vertically so tightly across my face. They are unlearning unnecessary tension when all else seems to threaten. I can break through. I know I can. I just need a breaking so graceful you would think I had planned how I would be reborn. Cycle once more, unwind me, I know the mirror can. He has my same hands to slowly peel back my skin, the same pen as well, the same feet to get back up onto. I take myself apart like no lover dreamed they could. Undo myself so carefully, pieces could be resealed in a single origami precise sleight of hand. Like I was telling myself to stay put this entire time in my stagnant wholeness. One of the boldest self-surgeries you have ever fucking scene. I can love myself back into radiance, back into ease of internal flow, back into re-remembering my otherness to re-become a shred of divine worship is called back into the prayer this way. As if there were not any divinity before, but I remember all the music after the amen, all the harmony before Amen Ra lost its sun, the sun shone before we ever fucking named it. No thing, nowhere, no name could ever confine me. No syllable or lack thereof could ever confine or define me. No ocean could ever not remind and undo. You remember what birth first? She. Earth, she is a home from explosions. Universe says, when will we, when will we learn to silence our own eruptive detonations? I'm still sitting. Dancing in that internal house, cathedral body phoenixed into moonlit loose strings. I observe this new, this new lunar self alchemy, this potential mosaic quilt of my every internal resynthesis in silence. How to knit myself and the world back together at the same time. <laughs>